would put only the, the coffee you need. So, well, let's clean it up. So uh, now Grinder finished grinding our coffee, and uh, it is, should be noted that it's, that's uh, in addition to how uh, uh, the to, in addition to the freshness of coffee. Then the grinding is very important, and uh, uh, the more uh, fine you grind your coffee, the more intense you will get. Uh, the taste of it, but if you grind it too fine, then the water <coughs> won't have uh, well, the, the espresso machine won't have enough pressure to pump it through. So let's take a look what we have here. I <coughs> put it in uh, our group and. Uh, do like that to even the coffee in the group. Well, so we have precisely enough coffee as we measured previously and it's just enough to make our double shot. As you can see the coffee is fresh so it has this, uh, you know, this like uh, no, uh, I don't know. It's not. Uh, it's not even. So it means that it's fresh. The coffee which is unfresh or is too dark or too roasted, it will be like a flower. So after the coffee is grinded, we need to temper it. So uh, well, the the water will go through it and make our espressos. To temper, first of all we need to even it, then take our temper and carefully first even it like that and go ahead with enough force to make it pressed. Some people say that you need to uh, apply a 30 kilo of pressure, but I'm not sure how how much is 30 kilo of pressure. So I just uh, make enough force to feel that it's compressed enough. So that's it. That's uh, our uh, porta filter filled with coffee, and we already have our espresso machine ready, and it was like uh, 10 minutes already on so it has enough temperature uh, we have fresh water uh, it's not boiled it should, it should not be boiled it's fresh water uh, if the coffee machine uh, stays for 10 minutes it uh, has enough uh, heat to uh, make some steam so we don't need this steam. We need to flush it a bit. Have, you see some steam and this flush is enough. We should get rid of the steam in the beginning. We dry it up and well, we're ready to go. Put it in. <clears throat> when making an espresso, all uh, surfaces should be heated up. So in this particular espresso machine is Gadget Classic. Uh, this surface heats up and it heats up the espresso glasses. Put it in and 
We hit brew. As you can see, five seconds goes uh, in uh, flowing waters through the water filter, and then in 15 to 20 seconds, uh, our uh, coffee should be done. Okay, so uh, it was a bit quicker than we expected, but well, here we go our two espresso shots. Uh, the important characteristic in espresso is that uh, when you take spoon and have the screma, when you try to scrub it, it it won't scrub. It will uh, regenerate, so to say. So that's that's the good crema. Should be like that. By uh, modifying the amount of well, the fineness of grinding, you can uh, make uh, the water flow uh, slower and you will get more uh, aroma on your coffee. If you grind it too coarse, uh, then the water will just flow through uh, the porta filter and you will get some like, watery coffee substance. Well, we have our great espresso shots and it was uh, our uh, Tutorial for from Igor Melon and thank you very much and uh, see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye.